Hey guys, north of Palm Beach County, Florida, there are several large state parks which offer lots of fun for families. One of my favorite parks in that area which offers canoeing, hiking, fishing, camping, lots of wildlife, and it even includes a secret World War II training camp is Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Hogue Sound, which is in Martin County, just above Palm Beach County. It's 18 square miles of canoeing waterways and hiking trails and is open 365 days a year. Dog owners will also be happy to know that it's dog friendly, so bring your dog if you have one. So please join us as we drive up there to get some canoeing, hiking, and wildlife in. By the way, this is Gar, and together with my wife Anne, we want to help you build your influence online so you can have the option to quit the 9 to 5, like we did, and spend more time traveling. So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing or making comments by hitting the button below. Anyway, we're, on, we're really looking forward to getting out on the waterways and hiking uh, and seeing some nature, so let's get started. Oh, by the way, Please hang on until the end of this video uh, where I'm going to let you know how to download a free gift. So let's get started. Okay, so we just got here. We're right on the river. It's a windy, really, uh, the sun's really strong today, which is why we're going to be wearing our hats. Uh, here's our itinerary today. The first thing we're going to do is we're at the boat ramp. So we're going to go get a canoe. So you're going to see us uh, in a minute getting into a canoe and going down the river. Mm -hmm. When we get back, we're going to be going to the Kimball Education Center, where we're going to be finding out more about all the things you can do at the park and uh, we're going to be finding out where we can do a little hiking and also where we can find this big observation center we can look out over uh, the territory here. We're on 18 square mile, miles so this is a big park and uh, there's a lot to do. I also found out you can go horseback riding and biking so next time I'm here I'm going to bring my bike. We showed you a picture of the bikes and maybe we'll get a picture of some people on horses uh, but anyways, this is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we'll be here for two or three hours, and I hope you enjoy the, um, the, tri the trip with us. I hear, there aren't, I hear there aren't so many alligators. I hear all the alligators are, because it's, whoa, because it's been so hot, all the alligators have been uh, underwater. Might see him today. Okay. Or you might not see him today. Okay. But going down that Kisses Creek, okay. you said. Yeah. Probably your best bet. Okay. Yeah, you should, maybe you should put my shirt on. <laughs> We're gonna hit a turn, and then we're gonna go down this smaller creek, and hopefully see some alligators and some. Whatever, whatever else. <laughs> I want to see alligator. So we're really in the middle of wilderness now, and also because it's been so hot lately, there probably won't be many people out here with us. So enjoy the ride. We're going to be gone for about an hour. Okay, so we just took a right onto a much smaller tree. This is a place where, if we're going to see alligators, or turtles or snakes. This is where it's going to be. The problem is it's been really hot in Florida lately and it's also high tide. So uh, it's going to be harder to see anything because a lot of the uh, wildlife is just staying underwater because of the heat and also because it's high tide. But it's beautiful here. You see all the plants coming out in the river and uh, it's very quiet here. The only thing I can hear is my voice and Anne snoring. <laughs> uh, but besides that, we're going to go down here about maybe half a mile. We've been paddling for about a half hour now. So we're going to go down here about 10 minutes until we have to turn back. And we'll let you know if we see anything. Can you hit it again again again? No, you can hit it again again. Okay. 
Okay, right over here to the right, you can see some bubbles coming up. That is a baby manatee. It's right in there, right in there. You can't see it, but we see its bubbles. We saw its head come up. There it is, right there. You can see the bubbles coming up. That's where the manatee is. Look at there's the manatee. There's the manatee. Oh. See those bubbles? Yeah. See if he comes up, let's just stay here. Okay. Oh, there it is, darling, right there. See it? Baby manatee, right there. Are you sure? Yes, that's a manatee. Just oh. a baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that, here it is. There's baby oh, here manatee. we go. There's another one. There's a mama. Oh, this is mama. Mama. Oh. Mama. <laughs> mama, come on. There's a goldfish in there too. Hi, I like the way. They're gonna stay down for a while now. Mm, it's a breed. Yeah, they're mammals. Look at that. Is that a turtle? No. What Some, is that? Something weird, like a lizard. Yeah. That's a snake, I think. Darling, let's go. Yes, yeah, snake. Turtle reversion. Yeah, big turtle. It's gonna go in. There it goes. It's scared. Oh. There it goes. Big turtle. <laughs> See you next time. So we saw. Two manatee, a mother and a and the kid. We saw at least two turtles and we saw at least two snakes. <laughs> but no alligators, maybe next time. <laughs> Ooh, it's so windy today. The wind's blowing everywhere. Anyways, we just finished uh, the canoeing. As you can see, we just a bike path that goes all the way around the park. Uh, you can look overlook the river here. We're gonna take this walking path down to the Kimball Center, which has got a lot of information about the area. And uh, after that, we're gonna go biking. So let's go over to the Kimball Center. So here we are, here we are at the Visitor Center, Kimball Center. See what they have inside? Looks like a brand new building. And here it says, uh, every day, nine to five, films every hour. Friday at 2 p.m. guided nature hike. Saturday 10 a.m. nature adventures, bones, skulls, and skins. Well, I wonder what that is. Anyways, I think there's a lot going on in here. Check it out. This is Trapper Nelson. Oh, okay. This is the Trapper back Nelson. On the river back there. So he lived there in the 1930s, right? Right. Right. Okay. Right and, uh, he just lived there and trapped snakes and yeah, alligators. Yeah, he had a thousand acres back there. Right? Wow. That he accumulated and uh -huh. he left it all to the park. Oh, wow. This is about Camp Murphy here. Mm. There was okay. a camp that was back here in the World War II. Okay. That were uh, training people for the radar system and everything. Cool. Is that, I mean, can you, if you look at it now, it would just be all brush? This building is still here. Oh, okay. That's the only There's thing left a, of it. a ranger living in here. Okay. And uh, there's a few bunkers around and so you can see the small remnants of it, you know. Okay. It's, can you see it from that uh, platform where you overlook the well, mountains? When you're up there and looking at the, an observation tower, uh -huh. almost straight a little bit to your left where you see a couple of campers there. Right. There's a small building that used to be a safe. Okay. Because it's all concrete right there. Wow. Right, you know? Would they put munitions in there or something? I don't know what they put in there. But you see a, a lot of concrete on the ground there. Uh -huh. right? That uh -huh. was all from the camp. Okay. Let's get a look at the snake. Huh. How are you guys? Hi, fine. Hey, hey, hi. No. hey that's a rat snake, right? <laughs> yeah, 
It's yeah. a red red or a corn snake. Depends on what part of the country you're from, what you're going to call and, this And one. they don't bite, right? They're not poisonous. Uh, it's not venomous. Okay. Yeah, in the wild, they'd probably try to bite you. This right. one's not going to bite you unless you, like, grab his head violently and act like crazy. But, uh, Do they have teeth? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, little little like sandpaper teeth. Okay. You know, he could, he'd give you, like, you'd need a Band-Aid. And they eat rats? Uh, rats and mice. This guy eats mice. Okay. Oh, look at that tongue. <laughs> Okay, so we're running out of time. Here's where you rent bikes. Bikes go for $10 an hour, and there's a multitude of bike paths all around this park. It's incredible. Next time we're here, we're going to go biking. This time we don't have time. Uh, our 30 for two hours and 10 for two hours. Uh, so what we're going to do instead of doing this, we're going to go up to this big tower that allows you to see all over the park and you'll see the bike paths, the walking paths from there. You'll also see Camp Murphy, which is a World War II base, and uh, maybe even part of uh, Trapper Nelson's uh, site, a 1,000 acre site. Not sure everything we'll see up there, but we're gonna go there next, and we'll see you up at the top. That was a safe on Camp Murphy during World War II, and it's been empty, no one knows what was in it. So it's windy up here, right? Welcome to the top of Mount Oak. And this is an ancient sand dune that was left here. This is, the sand dunes used to be this tall, according to the sign there. So what we're looking at, so you can see the intercoastal waterway and the ocean out there. Beautiful ocean, see it's green, greenish blue today. And you turn around this way, you can look miles into Florida. And this is what Florida looked like a hundred years ago. It was this scrub land and palm forests and beautiful rivers and lakes. And this is one of the few places in southern Florida for sure where you can get this much uh, scenery. In front of this is Camp Murphy. This is a secret World War II training base for radar. And that white building is the only building left. This is all Camp Murphy. spending today with you.